Nasdaq E-mini futures on the daily chart. Price and pulling back below that 200 moving average on the daily chart. Looking to see these smaller pullbacks to the upside can provide that additional resistance for more downside correction. I'm going to start to map them out, clicking from that pivot low, pivot high, projecting to that pivot low over here as well. Pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. One more time over here. Pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. So if we bring it back us, if we're being if price trades back up to 14,600 and some change, I'm looking to see if this area can hold as potential resistance. Now I want to jump down to an hourly chart. The hourly chart, the 200 moving average is right there. It's going to draw it again one more time. Draw that horizontal line so this denotes the 200 moving average on the hourly. If I flip back on the daily, if I flip back on the daily, you can see that the 200 moving averages are exactly the same spot. If price decides to break through that symmetry resistance, the next area that I'm looking for is this area, right around 15,000. I like to see if I can find a three price relationship against this zone. For example, looking for bigger pullbacks, clicking for that pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. That bring me a little bit closer. There are two things taking place right now. I like to see price, how it responds to this error, potential resistance from here. We may have more downside correction. The other play would be price decides to break through this cluster of symmetry resistance and we're going to retest that 15,000. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is 1,000 subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.